Well, guys, it's been long overdue, but here is a brand new Regzoraz Monster Jam tutorial. Like I said, some time ago, over a month ago, I think, I was going to get back to doing tutorials, but of course, I got busy with other things, and of course, had to wait for the right moment to do this. Well, now that moment has finally arrived, as I am now going to do a whole bunch of tutorials on how to make tracks. And the best way to do that, I figured, was to make a whole new track for ROR and do tutorials on how I do it as I do it. And, and of course, thank you, Blender, for popping up with that in the background. But anyways, I'm going to make a new track. And I decided after the extremely success and support that um the t custom Houston 2023 track got, since everyone apparently loved that, well, most people, I decided... Why not do it again? Take a shitty, born modern day Monster Jam track and make it better. As this is San Antonio 2021, and I had so many options to choose from, but I chose this because it was St. Louis style, and all the other ones I found were um, Chicago style. I did not want to do Chicago style again. I wanted to do St. Louis or something different. And of course, another thing too is I need a new version of the Alamo Dome because the one I have already. It's from like 2013 or so, and that's just not good quality. So I wanted to get this out as well. So, yeah, I'm going to do a whole bunch of tutorials, making this track, and show you all how to do it and all that. Now, of course, oh boy, the pain, and I mean the pain, that's going to be the first part. Because I did some testing before to make sure this all works, and oh man, it's not going to be fun. So, of course, the first thing you're going to do is, this I prefer doing, but if you don't want to do it, that's fine. I might do a tutorial on another part of where you can do this, but I'm going to do it do this tutorial how I'd make my tracks. The first thing you're going to do is you need to get the track itself this onto Blender, but ideally I also want to get the stadium on Blender too. So of course, how do you do that? Well, I've already done tutorials before on how to do it as I already have my custom 2023 San Antonio folder here. I've already explained it before when it came to making trucks and making tracks the exact same thing pretty much. So first thing you need to do is you need to first, of course, since whoever makes these tracks, thank you Sim Monsters idiots for not making everything organized and standardized like I do because it was not easy to find it. So of course the first thing you want to do is for any of these tracks is you need to find the, ter the terrain to, here we go, San Antonio 2021. So we have it loaded up. So then you look for the TOBJ. So it's San Antonio 2021, which is for the race one. Here we go, San Antonio 2021 TOBJ. Now, here are all the meshes that load up on the track. San Antonio 2021, props, which who knows, that could be Alamo Dome, which the, the stadium itself is separate. And dumpsters and the animation for the um, sponsorship. So I'm pretty sure... I guess these are some other things on the track and this is probably the actual track itself so yeah the main thing I want right now is Alamo Dome 2021 San Antonio 2021 so you then go and find the mesh material no, the, um, the mesh I mean to say so there you go San Antonio 2021 right here and then uh, um Alamo Dome 2021 so you find those two files in particular which I already done and then you drag them, and then you put them right on here, remember. So once they, once you drop, not the material, do not do the material, it's the mesh you do. So once you get the mesh, you then drop it onto the Ogre XML converter, which comes with ROR by default when you install it. And then once it's converted over, because I already did this earlier, you'll see these XMLs down here. You need to have the XMLs, or else the track will not load up at all on Blender. It won't even, it, it straight up won't import at all. All right, now here is another thing you need to do too to make sure it loads up properly. Because I've mentioned in the video before, it'll load up as black for me. Uh-oh. Uh um, okay, yeah, here we go. So yeah, all, most models lately, I mean, materials I've used have this thing right here. This needs to go. So yeah, just delete that. And thankfully, it's the only one there. That should make it work now. Now that was for, now I gotta look for, um, uh, here we go, Alamo Dome 2000, no, 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 that's the, that's the mesh. Um, here we go, Alamo Dome 2021. Alright, so this one's bigger. 
So to make it quicker, you gotta get Notepad plus plus, which I've put in, downloaded in all the other com um, the um tutorials. I'll try to remember to put that on here as well. So, anyways, once you get Notepad plus plus up, you go Control F, <coughs> find files. You then copy this over. This is the quickest way. Do that, and then leave it blank and replace files. Or maybe, here we go, maybe do this. There we go. There, got rid of all of them just like that. Saves so much time. Okay. So now with that out of the way, now I gotta load up Blender again after it cracked. Oh, wait, no, it didn't crash. I turned it off, but it, took, it was delayed. It didn't go off properly. All right, you delete all this. Then we import. Here we go. That's the track. That's the stadium. But first things first, the track. Here we go. Um, San Antonio 2021. This should not. There we go. It load up broken textures though. But I could fix that later on. That's an easy. That's gonna be another video though. But here we go. Here's the actual track itself for San Antonio 2021. As you see, there's the um hills themselves. It's just not textured properly. All right. But now of course I'm going to import. <clears throat> the stadium which by the way before and as I mentioned before look at the file size of the stadium before you import because when they get up to this big it will take forever if not ever they'll never load up like if it's over 25 megabytes they're going to take a very long time to load up and if they get up to this big there's a chance they might never ever ever load and I've known some tracks before like last year when I got into making tracks for the MTWS events that there were some stadiums that were like over 100 megabytes or even bigger. And they just straight up won't load. So, for me, doing this, importing the stadiums in as, and same as blends. If they're over 25 megs, they're going to take a long time to load. And they might not never load whatsoever if they get up to like this size. So keep that in mind. But, I already did the test on this. This will load. But, God, it could take up to like 20 minutes or so. It's going to take a long time to load. So... I'm going to import and stop filming until it's uploaded, so see you in a bit. So yeah, that took 18 minutes it counted. It took so long, I started to load up EU4 and then started to load the game up. I mean the um, program, I mean the stadium up. So yeah, here we go. Here is the Alamo Dome all loaded up and all that. Of course, the animations up there would be broken. You had to refix them when you export them out and stuff like that. But yeah... There you go. I got my new, I mean the update Alamo Dome, and I got the track out here. I'm gonna be saving them right now. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave this all right here for right now. I'm not gonna merge them together because usually I do merge them, but I'm just gonna keep it safe for right now. So I'm just gonna quickly make a new blend. So save as, and then go to my stadiums folder. Good job, good job, freezing. And I did not press on you. All right, I'm gonna delete the old one. And of course, it decides to do that. All right, fine. You're gonna be a dick. I'll just make a new folder completely right now, and then delete the other one loader. All right. Now where to go? Yep. Save right here for right now. I'll save it as untough for right now. So, yeah. Now it's probably going to take a long, long, long time to export. Especially since I'm playing EU4 too. So, yeah. That's the first step on how you import tracks and stadiums into Blender. And, of course, once you save this blend... Yeah, there you go. Once you save it, it's there as long as you keep it. So, it'll load up much quicker and all that. And that's why I like to have my stadiums and tracks all in one, all in one and have a blender where you can just easily load it up. S simple, efficient, and standardized. Always for the win. Alright, so that's going to be the tutorial. Next up, I might try and work on the paint and all that and a whole bunch of other things. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and hope it helps you make your own tracks.